described by Kent Walton in round three. Follows up to the top end. Smilish. That could be a sleeper if that arm is the right spot. And it's thinking about it. come back with a double arm but couldn't make it. He's a very strong fellow this Mike Dunner. Danny Collins hasn't been allowed to use much of his speed so far. Body check took him down again and this time waiting for him. Very quickly, goes for that rabbit again. Side headlock, vicious looking side headlock, really laying it on there. But Danny Collins has shown us many times recently on television that he can take an awful lot of punishment. And there he goes again with a counter. come around and, and crush the arm there, holding down his right arm temporarily. He's very quick with the follow-ups, is um, Bennett. And a public warning for not doing what he was told. Round three, and the referee gives first public warning to Mike Bennett. Bennett goes in with that knee on the guillotine. Two minutes he's got to the end of round three. And He's really determined to get the advantage in this round here. It's just a question of how long Danny can stand up for this onslaught. But it hasn't given him a breather yet. Again, that right forearm goes into the side of the neck. And the Perfect bridge by Daddy. Look at that, forcing himself up into the bridge position. Just a minute to go. Bennett is still concentrating on that Danny Collins left arm. And there's the right knee doing his work on the side of the head there. Same move by Bennett. He really comes up fast on those. He's got 10 seconds now to make this count. Three seconds, two, one. And Bennett didn't release too quickly after the bell, did he? This is incredible. This Mike Bennett is not the man that I used to know at all, but he really goes in hard. I think he's pretty mad that a 17-year-old has got the title that he's always wanted, and he's determined to prove this point. There he is on the right to the promoters that he should have a chance at the title. Danny Collins was worrying about his neck now, and of course the left arm has been giving him a lot of trouble since round one. Still no score. Seconds away, round four. One fall to the side. Danny comes out very quickly this time. He's not going to take any more of those attacks. And it's Danny goes with fast now. Coming back at Bennett. 
And that really surprised Mike Bennett. And here he comes up again with that pull on Gravit here, which he really likes as an attacking move. goes in for a, a move and keeps to it, doesn't he? Doesn't it, uh, hang about, this fella? Goes in really hard. Vicious sometimes. But fairly, most of the time, it's just a couple of attacks he's made. Two really nice flying tackle by Danny Collins. But he got slammed for his... Oh, <laughs> nice timing. Then he didn't even look, just knew where he was, helped him over the top rope, and helps him in again for the stomach throw. <laughs> and once again... <laughs> and Bennett not too good at landing that time. He's not too happy about the situation right now. He's been doing most of the attacking, but Danny's certainly coming back in this round. Drop kick, yes. Just height. Side headlock caught him, but not for long. Over the top. Nice leg grab, a single leg Boston, and being right in hard there and gets the winning submission in one minute per seconds of round four. So Bennett wins the bout, and now he's going to tell the promoters, now do I have a chance at that title of Danny's. A one minute, 50 seconds in round four. The winning submission to Mike Bennett. And your appreciation for the blue corner, Danny Boy Collins. Disappointed Danny, losing his first part after getting the title back, but he'll be back on a return. There's no question about that. A win for Mike Bennett, but don't forget to be back with us soon for a super heavyweight knockout tournament.